Kaggle Days uh, is an event for Kaggle community, which is an offline event uh, made, uh, aimed at uh, bringing together the community, which only knew each other from online uh, discussion forums and from uh, competing against each other. It's a huge opportunity to meet, uh, finally, the grandmasters and masters. Uh, and uh, actually, it's the best event I've ever been to. <laughs> yeah. I have a finance and banking background. I started uh, my professional career as uh, in working in a bank. Uh, I then uh, started this uh, ML class, which was uh, the first uh, like ma massive online uh, learning uh, um, event. And uh, then it started into Coursera. But uh, I think it was the major point for many of uh, future Kagglers. Many uh, started like me, and I just needed a way to practice my skills. Right? So I entered the first competition, which went okay, -ish, and then I got to a fourth place in my second competition. So I knew it was uh, something I can uh, be good at. My favorite competition is uh, the uh, one that I did last year. Uh, it was a Mercury Prize Prediction competition, which uh, we won with Konstantin Lopuchin. It was the best for me because uh, it was different from uh, all other competitions. It was a code competition, which means that uh, the resources in this competition were constrained. So the solutions must be elegant uh, to fit the m both memory and CPU uh, constraints. It's uh, it's very demanding uh, competition, but it, it uh, proved to be uh, very interesting for us. Code competition is very different from all other co type of competitions because it uh, enforces users to really collaborate with each other. There is no way that at the end of go the competition you can merge together the results because other they will run out of the memory, they will run out of the time that is uh, allocated. So for me it meant that uh, whoever I choose to be my teammate, I needed uh, to create a common code base with him. So we had a collaboration which was, I think, uh, on a deeper level than in most competitions, most competitors do, because uh, we had uh, we didn't we didn't have an independent ideas. We had one idea and we uh, iterated on this idea so we uh, could win the competition. I would choose uh, Scikit-Learn as uh, its general capability in machine learning. It has uh, many unsupervised and supervised models which you can use. And also it, it is a good library to glue together many uh, kind of uh, modules uh, that you use. And uh, the second one will be LiveGBM because it's the fastest uh, in its kind. Uh, it's uh, gradient boosted trees. And the third kind is a different paradigm. It's uh, neural networks, so I would choose Keras as the first, uh, third uh, library. So like having three uh, kind of paradigms. I spend most time uh, in preparation uh, I always create some kind of a framework to solve the competition. So, uh, like yesterday, we had a talk uh, uh, from Francois Chalet. He said that uh, the APIs, uh, how you work uh, and how you create the code, is very important, even if you work uh, on your own. Uh, I think that most of the time I think about how to structure the problem so I can, uh, so it can be easy for me to iterate. So I think I spend the most of the time working on these frameworks for uh, for competitions. So how to, uh, that will help me to uh, solve the competition and uh, fa faster. <laughs> I mean, I, I took part in many competitions. There were, were many uh, times where I feel felt uh, very sad because I, for example, didn't win. But I think the most uh, sad moment was where uh, w w our team was at the top for most of the time during the uh, competition, and we. During the last 10 days, we dropped uh, 10 places because all other teams kind of discovered this new feature, which we didn't. So it was kind of, uh, I was sad because it was kind of random for us. It, it, didn't, it didn't reflect how we worked throughout the competition. It just was uh, uh, like pure luck for, for me. I think it's uh, unrelated to data science, maybe because uh, since I've uh, started my own company, I learned more about how to manage people, how to uh, be a good uh, team leader, and how to help uh, my team to achieve better results. I mean, data scientists, how to, uh, I help data scientists to be better at their job. I think uh, you need to first be a good data scientist and to teach other data scientists. I think uh, 
the skill set is probably the same, but you need uh, to focus more on how you convey the knowledge that you have uh, so that other people can use it quickly. And uh, so you can, I think the most important thing is that you can spot a certain weakness in someone that you can uh, very quickly uh, improve upon. So uh, when you see someone's code and you can see, okay, here you need to change something uh, and it will be better and it's actually uh, a very good idea to, uh, for, for us and uh, also for the people who uh, are our employees because they feel that it, uh, they are improving and this is the most important thing for us. So we started a company, Logic AI. Uh, our main two goals is to um, is a balance between building a data science community by organizing offline Kaggle Days events, and also to be very good uh, and in theory in, in practical implementation of machine learning algorithms. So uh, I don't know if we can accomplish this uh, at the end, but uh, my I, my dream is to combine these two things uh, to uh, have this kind of yin yang type of relationship between the community and the. Uh, application, the applied machine learning. Many of our data scientists were hired uh, through Kaggle Days. We met them uh, during the events. Uh, one of the um, guys uh, we worked uh, with uh, took second place in Warsaw during the competition, so uh, it was a great opportunity to meet data scientists in their most relaxed way. Because when you're recruiting someone, it's like uh, they are nervous and uh, um, when they are like during such an event uh, like today, they are very relaxed and they are in their um, most comfortable environment working on data science problems and then you can um, meet them and talk with them and know uh, how they are, how they are communicating. So it was, uh, it was a great for us that we could uh, do this. I'm still uh, figuring out, uh, it's, it's not this year, but I'm still figuring out uh, the way of uh, how we model churn events. Uh, like having, um, I'm inspired by uh, a blog post by a Swedish guy uh, called, uh, his name is Egil Martinsson. And uh, he's like uh, reversed my thinking about how uh, I uh, think about churning problems. So he said that it's not churn, but it's like lack of activity that we are, we are predicting. So it's like a reversed uh, problem for me. And uh, I feel inspired. I also feel inspired by all the Bayesian methods right now. So this is uh, what I'm uh, looking forward to learn also. My favorite part of Kaggle Days is meeting all the people that are involved. I think uh, this San Francisco event is unique uh, because we met so many uh, Kaggle staff members. It's like a huge opportunity to meet uh, the people behind uh, Cargo, uh, like you, uh, for example. And um, uh, this, is, this is my uh, favorite thing about this uh, event, especially.